Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. I get a lot of questions about how I actually use my bullet journal. So today I thought I'd go over how I fill out my monthly spreads and how I do my weekly and daily layouts. This is a whole different format for me. I've never done a video that does not have a voiceover and I'm actually talking as I'm doing it. So please bear with me. <laughs> the lighting may change. You may hear my chair squeak. There, It may be complete and total chaos. The quality of the microphone is definitely going to be different, but I get a lot of questions. So I just kind of thought I'd do a very quick video of how I do things. Okay, so before I get started showing you guys everything, I wanted to show you the actual tools that I'm gonna be using for this month. So I'm gonna start with the Tombow colors that I'm using. These are the colors that I have picked out for October. And so what I do is I keep these right next to me at my desk. So every morning when I fill out my bullet journal, I grab these markers and I also have the Zig Clean Color Dot Markers and I am obsessed with these markers. I They have a dot on one end, like a bullet nib, where you can literally just make a dot. I'll show you guys in a second. But I love these markers. I have almost every color. I am still on the lookout for the smoky color set with the like sagey green. I don't have that one yet, <laughs> but I am looking for that one. So if you guys find it, let me know. <laughs> um, but I love these markers so much. I use these every single month to fill out my habit trackers and to fill in my calendar and stuff like that. Again, I'll show you guys how I use all this stuff. And my absolute favorite pen to write with is the Muji gel pen in 038 or 0 0.38, sorry. It is a very, very fine tip. And this is my absolute favorite pen. I make sure to stock up on these because there was one time where I could not get any and I about cried. <laughs> so I have a lot of these in my drawer. <laughs> <laughs> but I go through them like crazy. There's really not much ink in there if you think about how much I write. So anyways, this is my absolute favorite pen. So let's just get started. So we're going to flip to the calendar spread. And this is kind of how I'm filling everything out right now. Um, I'm using the, the clean color dot markers to kind of write in that I have a task. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit for you guys. There you go. So you can see I use it to fill in if I have, like I wanted to post on Instagram that day. I'm trying to get better at social media and YouTube and all of that and actually doing what's scheduled <laughs> on my calendar. So the dot markers have come in really handy. I really love them. So I just kind of color code, like I have the gray is specifically for my YouTube social media. And then I have the sports in one color. I write down all the football games that are on for me and my husband because, you know, it's football season. <laughs> um, so anyways, so that's how I'm filling out my calendar for this month. And this I still have not filled out. I I said in my setup that originally this was supposed to be my cleaning spread, and it was, and it may still be. I may just sort of list out my cleaning stuff here, but I kind of have it memorized, so I'm not sure if... I may change things up a little bit next month with my cleaning schedule because... I do have things memorized, but they're not getting done. <laughs> I was really good in August, but in September and October, pff, no. <laughs> so, so far, this has either been somewhere where I'm possibly going to write notes down or anything like that that may need to be written down, or I may just have a running list of some of the tasks that need to happen. So, we'll see. We're still early October. <laughs> So this is my tracker spread, and so far I have only filled out a few because we're still, again, early October. Um, I'm falling short on working out, <laughs> but I am running. So I'm, I've kind of replaced my workouts with running. I, I have always walked the neighborhood almost every day. It's just something I love to do. I love to be outside in the sunshine. So I've always walked the neighborhood almost every day, but I've started running. And so I've kind of replaced my workout. I may 
just scratch that out and put run. And I try to do yoga almost every day. Um, so this is not for like when I wash the dishes and things. This says clean, if you, if you guys can't see that. <laughs> um, so this is for, not for like when I wash the dishes or vacuum or things like that. This is for when I actually stick to my cleaning schedule. Like if I've done all the tasks on my cleaning list, I just want to see what's working for me basically. So that's why I have this habit here. And clearly it, my current schedule is not working. <laughs> um, I have eat healthy and I have, this is when I actually cook dinner. So I try to cook dinner almost every night, try to make it to where we don't eat out much. We had dinner with my sister this night. So um, I didn't make dinner that night, but I try to make dinner almost every night. So, so that is my tracker spread. And then this, you guys, is my new favorite spread. <laughs> you know that every month I do a gratitude spread and I always write in different fonts and things like that just to play around with the way that I'm writing things. And in September, I accidentally did six extra boxes and I fell in love with it because I could combine the two boxes here and have just one big, like this was really nice. We had dinner with my sister and her family and it was so nice. We have not done that in an incredibly long time. And it was just so nice to be able to do that. And it was something I wanted to like have in big bold letters all the way across. So I'm loving having these extra pages or having these extra boxes. I'm loving it. It's just so much fun for me. So now we're going to get into my weekly layout. So it's a little bit different than what you probably are used to. So most bullet journal people, they do like separate Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, sort of how I do in my daily journal that I, let me see if I can grab it. So this is my daily journal where I write in just thoughts for the day, like any events that may have happened, that kind of thing. So let me flip. Okay. So this is how most people do their weekly layouts. They write their tasks in and any appointments that they may have in, in the specific day. And this is how I did it in the very beginning. When I first started bullet journaling, this was like my go-to. Um, actually, my favorite way, I may not have even done it this month. <laughs> no, I didn't. But my favorite way was usually just going straight down, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and going vertical all the way down and then doing like splitting it into fours and things like that. So that's how I first started in my bullet journal, doing different days like this. And I would write all my to-dos and tasks and stuff like that in this sort of format. But recently I have been doing sort of like a weekly dashboard and then doing dailies behind it. And it has worked out so well for me that I'm, I'm never turning back. <laughs> Since starting YouTube, my tasks have gotten much larger. I've got stuff to do with social media and that kind of thing, and I'm not used to that. I am not a natural social media person. I do not gravitate towards it. It is not my favorite thing. <laughs> so I have to literally schedule things out for myself in order to remind me that it's even there. So I have every single detail of my life on this page and my daily pages. So what I do is I do Monday through Sunday, and then I break it down, break down each day into events, YouTube, and other. This is my weekly overview. And then here is just a little task list I will have for things to do this week. I have some certain things covered up because they're private, so. But this is where I will write things that I wanted to accomplish this week, and then things reminders for next week. I have this little box here. And this is where I write in our dinner plans. I usually plan an entire week in advance, but this particular week I did not get a chance to go to the grocery store until I think it was mm, Tuesday. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't even know what day it is today. So anyways... <laughs> I didn't get a chance to go to the grocery store till Tuesday and I did not have a chance to meal plan. So these are just things that, you know, we kind of had on hand. So I'm actually planning to go to the grocery store tomorrow and you will see me plan that out 
today. I'm gonna plan for Friday today in this video. So that is my weekly overview. And as you can see, I tried to decorate. Oh, here, let me get this out of the way. So as you can see, I try to decorate a little bit on these pages, but I don't decorate much on the daily pages just because I, I just don't really have time for that. Um, but I love to see all the decorations around. And I try to do this exact layout every single month. So I will have like last month I had little butterfly stickers right here with some sparkles. I always had sparkles. You guys know that. <laughs> but I've got the bug stickers here this month and my husband is like, why did you have to use spiders? <laughs> so, okay. So now we're moving on to the daily pages and so far, this is how I am doing my daily setup, and I love it. I've been doing this for probably three months now, where I do my weekly overview and then go into the week per day, like a page per day kind of thing. So I've got it broken up in straight in the middle. I've got the date up at the top, and then this box here is for my workout, like whatever program I'm doing. I'm doing Lift 4 right now, but like I said, I replaced it with running. So I've got run down here. I try to do yoga every morning. I love yoga. It's like, it's my happy place. Other than a balcony on a beach, yoga is my happy place. <laughs> <laughs> so each day I've got sectioned off in the middle and then I've got these top two columns or these top two sections here. This is where I put in my YouTube tasks or anything that is relating to my channel, like social media, that kind of thing. I put in this section here and then this is events that are happening today. Like, like I said, I had a budget meeting. So this is where I will write in all these things here. I'll put these in this section right here and that will be my reminder to do these things. I do, I double put things. Like I put things in multiple places. Like you can see, I have laundry written here. I also have it written here. And sometimes I'll even write it over here, start laundry, just because <laughs> I need the reminder multiple times in my planner. <laughs> I need it. It's. It, it's redundant and it's ridiculous, but it's just the way that my brain works. I will look at specific sections throughout the day. And so sometimes I'll only focus on the schedule part of my day and I'll, I'll look and if laundry's not there, then I'll be like, okay, I don't have to do laundry. <laughs> so, I mean, laundry is an everyday thing, isn't it? But anyways. <laughs> This is where I will write my today stuff, the, the big events. Like if it's somebody's birthday or something, I'll write that there. This is my, basically my home to-dos. Like I will put things that, like if I have to call somebody and like make an appointment, things like that, I'll write them in this section. If I have to clean something, it'll go in this section. So, and then this bottom section here, this is my morning routine. Normally I have a lot more things. I do add things to it. These are the things that I do every single day, unless it's a school day. Then I won't make Bella her lunch. <laughs> Cause that's something I do for her Monday through Friday when she goes to school. Um, but the rest of the stuff I do every single morning. This section here, this is where I will write in what we had for dinner that night. So that's kind of how my day is structured and I, I write all of the stuff in. You know, this is just a completely blank dot grid notebook. I fill in all of this stuff and I do the actual bones. So you'll see like Friday, everything's completely blank. Friday and I do combine Saturday and Sunday because I don't do a whole lot of like scheduled tasks on Saturday and Sunday. So I don't need this big schedule section. And I also don't write in the times because sometimes my to-do list is just so big that I just want to use this as a running to-do list and something, or maybe I just want to write notes or whatever. I don't write the time in this until that morning usually. Today, I am going to write it in the day before because this is today. <laughs> so this is actually sort of an unplanned video. I had planned on filling in next week's video or I had planned on filling in next week's whole structure like this. 
on camera for you guys and then do a voiceover explaining all of this. But honestly, I thought that this was easier and a little more fun. And I actually had my office to myself right now. So I do need to get moving though. <laughs> but so right now I am going to just flip this over and I'm gonna use my binder clip to sort of clip that there. And I'm gonna show you guys how I plan out my day. So I start with, where's my pen? There it is. So I start with basically just writing in what my workout is gonna be for that day. Oh, sorry, my camera. I'm still getting used to being on film. <laughs> <laughs> and having to pay attention to where the camera is. <laughs> All right, so I start out with writing in what my workout's gonna be. So I'm just gonna write in yoga and run slash walk. And depending on what I do, I'll just underline that and check it off so that I know for, so that my future self, yeah, so that my future self knows, okay, she went on a walk that day. Maybe she should go on a run tomorrow. <laughs> All right, and then I will, you know what, I'm gonna move this stuff up a little bit so that I have a little bit more space. All right, so I'm gonna write YouTube. I also leave these headers blank when, I am, when I'm creating this whole spread. I leave these little headers blank because I just may want to change them one day. Honestly, I may wanna change them. I may wanna put today here and YouTube here or whatever. I'm. Or sometimes if my morning routine gets like extremely long, I'll put that here because I just think this is a little bit of space. <laughs> so, okay, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna fill this in with YouTube and this is today and to do, and I just write schedule here. I was writing time, but I like schedule better. So morning is here. And then I will fill in the times here because I, I know that I'm gonna wanna do the time blocking tomorrow. I wake up every morning at 4 a.m. I, I know that is a ridiculous time to wake up in the morning, but that's just the way that I am. <laughs> I am an early riser, I cannot help it. It's just the way that I've always been. But I don't actually do anything until about 5.30. I sit and I drink my coffee and I just just sit in silence, basically. <laughs> and it's wonderful. So until about 5.30, that is when I will start to really plan my day. So I don't really write anything. I start writing five here, so you'll see. And I skip a line just so that I can write in the half hours, just in case like I have an appointment at like 1030 or something, I'll put that there. So once I've got the times written in, I will come in with my favorite, my absolute favorite marker. This is the Tombow N89. And I use this, this is what I did with my headings. This is the best bullet journaling tool ever. <laughs> Besides the notebook, this is a must have. <laughs> And I just draw a line where the half hour marks are just to visually sort of break it up a little bit. All right. So then, all right, so that's done. Let's see, let's look back at what I actually have on my weekly overview. So what I do is I come to my overview when I'm planning out my day. I Sometimes I go to my calendar first um, because I don't, I want to make sure I didn't forget to write anything on my overview. So I will go to my calendar and I'll say, okay, Friday the 7th, I got nothing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so then I come here and I go, okay, so what do I need to do for YouTube? Sorry, my phone just went off. <laughs> Again, I'm not used to doing this. <laughs> so I come over here and I look at what I need to do for YouTube and I want to take some pictures of some of my spreads. So I I do need to put that on my calendar and I also need to pay bills. That is a big one. Got to pay those bills. So what I'll do is I'll come up here and I'll grab my gray clean color dot pen marker, whatever you want to call it. Oh. And then I'll put here that I want to take some Put that there for my pictures and then I had pay bills so I was doing that in this denim colored one I think that's what this is 
the names on here somewhere. Denim, there it is, yeah. So this denim colored one is for my just random events. See how great these dots are? Oh, I love these markers so much. So I'm just gonna write in IG and then photos. So this is to pay bills. And then let's see. So that's all I've got for that. Okay, so I know tomorrow I do want to vacuum and mop. And I just write these little squares. I know some people have a stencil, some people do like a like a stamp or something. I don't know, but I just I just write in the little squares. <laughs> And then, okay, so that's what I wanna to do tomorrow for that. For YouTube tomorrow, I need to probably edit this video. So I'm gonna write that. My neighbor just decided to mow his lawn. So if you can hear that, I apologize. <laughs> and then, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill out some of my schedule. I know at 5.30, I start to journal and then I plan my day. And then at six o'clock, I wake up my daughter for school. So wake up Bella. And then at seven, I start my morning routine. And I do my morning routine and make my daughter's lunch and that kind of stuff. I do that in between seven and 8.30. And then at about 8.30, I will do my run slash walk. And then at about 9.30, I'll get ready for my day. So by this time, I have already started. So by seven o'clock, I have, not by seven o'clock, but at seven o'clock, I've already started my laundry. I've made my bed. I've brushed my teeth. I've done all that kind of stuff by seven or at seven. So actually, while I'm thinking about it, I'll go ahead and fill in my morning routine so you guys can see that. I do laundry every single day because there are five of us and <laughs> it, it piles up if you don't do it every single day. <laughs> I make my bed every morning. I take out whatever dinner I have prepared. I, I have a glass kitchen table. So I wipe down my kitchen table every single morning because after breakfast, there's a million crumbs and fingerprints all over it. So <laughs> I wipe down my kitchen table every morning. I make sure to swap out my towels in my kitchen and in our bathrooms every morning. I unload the dishes in the dishwasher. I thought about making a sticker of this for myself, kind of like I did for the calendars but I actually kind of like writing it down every morning. It just kind of jogs my memory. Oh yeah, you gotta do that today. <laughs> I need to take my vitamins. It's Friday, so I need to make Bella's lunch. Um, oh, diffusers. I've started using, oh, I've started using um, essential oil diffusers. They really don't work very well in my house. I don't know if I'm doing it wrong or what, but I can smell it for about a minute and then they go away. So if you have tips, let me know. <laughs> um, okay, so I do my diffusers every morning and then I tidy up the living room, tidy up my bedroom, the dining room. Usually I don't really have anything to do in the dining room, but if Bella decides to eat breakfast in the dining room instead of in the kitchen, I will kind of wipe down the table if there's anything on it from breakfast. And then counters. I wipe down the kitchen counters. So that's what I do for my morning routine. I do this every single day. All right, so back to my schedule. So I've done the morning routine, done the running and the walking, I've gotten ready. So then what I will do is I will either, so I block out time. I have from 10 to 12 here, from 10 to 12, I eat lunch around 10 or 12 o'clock. My husband and I eat lunch at the same time usually. So from 10 to 12, I have a good solid two hours to either work or clean. <laughs> usually I choose work, <laughs> but I, tomorrow I definitely have to clean because I need to vacuum the floors and mop for sure. I would like to get a lot more accomplished, but this is a necessity, has to get done. So. I'm gonna actually put that at the 10 o'clock mark because if I don't do it first thing, I, I won't get it done. So I'm actually gonna block out, I think what I'm gonna do is sort of 
block this out from 10 to 12. I'm just gonna kind of draw a line and then, and then I'm just gonna write to-dos. So this is where I need to accomplish my to-dos. And sometimes I'll write my to-dos in here again. Cause like I said, I will double write things because if I'm looking at this part of my schedule, this is what I'm seeing needs to get done, not this. <laughs> so I also need to vacuum my bedroom too. So I need to write that here too. Okay, so I'll fill that in a little bit more tomorrow probably, but then at one o'clock, I am just gonna write in work here and I'm gonna draw an arrow down until four. That is when I stop doing work, cleaning, whatever. That is when I try to make sure I have everything accomplished for the day because at around 4.30, 5 o'clock, I start to clean. <laughs> I'm sorry, I start to make dinner. And then I'll write in here, what, let's see, what are we having for dinner tomorrow night? I don't know, because I have to go to Publix, that's right. <laughs> there we go. So I've got to fit that in somewhere in here too, so. Okay, normally I would write in what we're having for dinner that night, but I have to go to Publix, but I have to meal plan too. Man, it never stops. The to-do list is never ending. And of course I can't think of anything right now because I'm filming and <laughs> I didn't prepare anything because like I said, my husband just left the house. So I was like, oh, I can do, I can go ahead and film this. So this is a brief overview of what my day is going to look like tomorrow and I actually had a lot of fun planning this. So if you guys like this video, let me know. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.